guys, this is Geese Squad 16. Welcome back to Let's Play Corvette. Today, we are going to do the arcade races driving the C3 generation of Corvettes. So, and I have one Corvette in mind that I'm going to drive for all the C3 races. Actually, a little tribute. And yes, the uh, C3 is from 1968 to 1982, I believe. Yep. So, um, I'm going to be driving... The 1972 Corvette Coupe, because this is paying tribute to my stepdad's Corvette. He had a 72. Um, for his, for his first vehicle, and it was, if I can find it, it was an Elkhart Green. It was this color here, is what he had. And um, the story of the Corvette that my stepdad had, which was the 72, um, it had the T-tops in it, and it had the 350 in it. Now, for 72, they also had the 454 big block came with that come with it, but he got the 350 instead. Well, actually, his dad got it in 73 from a guy that was going to trade it for a Jag, for, I guess I guess for a Jaguar. And, uh, yeah, it was my stepdad's first car. He actually painted it maroon, and it had gold uh, stripes on the bottom and on the hood. And on the hood for a little while, then he changed it back to, to green. The Elkhart Green before he sold it in '92 at a Corvette show in Knoxville, Tennessee. So, so yeah, I always liked this Corvette. This is the reason why I like this body style Corvette because the year model my stepdad's had. I about ran into that guy right there. So yeah, we're here in the City Heights, and this guy's beating and banging. Now, like I said, his had the T. -tops. This one has T tops too. So, so yeah. So we're here at City Heights. I remember this race right here. We are on the speedway, the first start out, and then we're in the city. So, oh wow, that's some big air right there. So yeah, I will be p driving this Corvette right here for all the C3. Just to pay tribute to my stepdad's Corvette. Oh yeah, he sold it to a guy that has a Corvette museum up in Boston, Massachusetts. So, so yeah. So far, I'm not doing too good here. Oh god, that wall came up to me like it was, came up from nowhere, actually. Okay, we're getting ready to go back on the speedway here. This will give me an opportunity to pass these guys. It's two laps, of course, so I have to make something happen here, like right now. Okay, try not to go in the grass here. Because that'll happen. I got the second, though. Okay, so there's the leader in front of me. Man, this is actually kind of a hard track right here. Okay, three wide for the lead, got it. Uh, I think the turn a little bit too wide, that's going to cost me a little bit. Okay, but I'm still out in the lead though, so we're still good. We are still good. That sound like that hurt. Okay, we're about coming down to the home stretch here. I remember this turn right there, I... Didn't realize how far out that guardrail was, and I ran right into it. So yeah, there we go. That's the first race. That was City Heights. Uh, I think it's called East or West. But yeah, my stepdad had a good first vehicle for his for his like his first vehicle. If you know what I mean. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So yeah, um, wait for this to get done loading. There we go. Not a bad race. Um, I'm on City Heights West, that's what it's called. Just gonna continue. Oh yeah, here we go. The 2500 Speedway. This is the race track. The first track we raced on when we did the career mode in C1. Gonna drive the same Corvette, same color. Let's get started. Alright. 
Here we go. This is only two laps, so this shouldn't be that long. It looks like some of the guys are driving the uh, the later, the late 70s, uh, you know, model Corvettes. Now, the 1982 I do like, but I'm starting to like the way the rear end looks. From, like, from, from starting 74 on up, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't look good to me, in my own opinion. I like the 70, like from the early, from the late 60s, early 70s Corvettes with the rear, the rear end style. And oh yeah, 72 was the last year to actually have the, uh, the uh, chrome front and rear bumper. So here we are on 2500 Speedway. It's kind of, kind of reminiscent of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but shorter. 44 seconds, 100, close to 150 miles per hour. Yeah, the stay, my advice on this track, stay in the gas. You don't have to have any breaking points. As we're beating these guys by six seconds, so this is a quick race right here. Hell yeah. Come down the line. There we go. Beat them by over six seconds. Wow. That was a quick and dominating run. Yeah, the 2500 Speedway track is actually the, is the easiest track in the game because it's just like a racetrack pretty much. Pretty much like a racetrack. Well, it's, well, it is a racetrack. Like I said, it's like a shorter version of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. All right, so let's continue on. We're going to go to the High Plains Air Base West, and now we're starting to get to the three laps, so three lappers. All right, here we go. This is, is kind of like the airport right out here. And this is three laps, so it's going to be a little bit long. Oh, wow. That did perfect right there, but unfortunately I got ran into. Just, just um, watch the corners here. Just make sure you know your braking zone because it's all important. And now some of these corners, you can just let off the gas and you'll be fine. That's about the advice I give to you guys. And we got look like a bunch of tanks and stuff out here. Okay, getting ahead of the of the competitors. Okay, coming up to a shot corner right up here. Yeah, we're tired. Barely in the dirt, but we're good. Oh wow, let's start slowing down definitely that turn, and I lost first and second. But that was no good. As we're coming down to start lap two, we got a couple more laps to go. A little bit of a slipstream out there. Okay, I remember I'm going at a full rate of speed, unlike I was at the start. Gotta remember that. Alright, so let's try to redeem myself right here. Okay, gonna get third right here. So we can catch up to the two leaders up here. Alrighty. Getting a good speed again. So that I'm not in the turn. Okay, it starts slowing down. And then to stay out of the gas till you get to the straightaway part of that corner right there. Now I didn't make the turn that good, so that's what happened there. There 
Eh, okay, I guess. I didn't, it was not okay, I, I hit the wall. Alright, I want we'll to make something happen here because this is the final lap. I think I'm going to get them right up here. Yeah, I just let off the gas right there a couple of times, and there we go, I'm in the lead. Now the question is, can I stay in the lead until we get to the finish line? Here's the key, is the question. Kind of cost me a little bit. One point six six seconds. Uh, okay, took the turn a lot better that time. Okay, I, I think I got this definitely. Oh yeah, I got it this time. There we go. That was not a bad race. All right, so those are the results right there. New track. Let's continue. Okay, so now I got Smoke Creek Alternate West. So yeah, as usual, let's get started. All right, here we go. And oh yeah, um, you may notice something. Um, on the loading screen, oh, you know normally it says you have to finish third or better. Well, these races here, you have to finish second or better. So you got to finish first or second to unlock the next race. So yeah, I thought I should point that out. I don't remember this track right here. Don't remember it at all. Well, I got the turn right there. Unfortunately, I was going to lose the lead. Hanging on, though. Three wide, anyone? Still got her. A little bit of a bump draft right there from one of the competitors. And we're coming out to a hairpin turn right up here. Got it. Oh wow, I'm about ran right into the wall and about ran right into those parked cars right there. I wonder if this is a new track. I don't know. I didn't realize how sharp that curve was. Oh wow, that guy came in there flying, took the lead right there. So we've got to be careful in that final turn when we come back here for the next two times. Oh, wow, run me out to the dirt, will ya? Run me into the dirt. Ha <laughs> ha. I've noticed that when these, most of these races here, some, these guys are driving like later model Corvettes from this generation, from the C3 generation. Like from 74 on up. I, I don't know which your model is. I think it's the 74. No, not 74. I think it's 78. Where Corvette celebrated his 25th anniversary and got... And they actually made a special replica Corvette that year. Kind of like in 2003 with the 50th anniversary. A little bit of a bump draft right there. That corner right there, you just have to stay in the gas as long as you're going at a good, the right amount of speed. Alright, whoa! Dang it! That wall came up. That wall was coming up fast, so I didn't. That was my fault right there. I just lost the lead. Might literally lose second here, but I'm not gonna allow that to happen. Jeez, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do in that turn right there. That could be trouble here. Let's hope not as we are in the last lap. Now I got spun out right there.
Okay, so we're about to do something here. I'll have to get to the lead as soon as I can. So I can get a good advantage. Get, get ahead of these guys a little bit. Especially when we come to that final turn, come down to the to the start finish. Oh wow, he spun out. I ran into him and he spun out, but that kind of slowed my momentum too. And here comes the other guy right there to take the advantage. Oh wow! Man, right into me. I think I need to slow down right there. Alright, let's take this turn a lot better this time around. Okay. Okay, that was a lot better that time. Alright, let's get a good lead on these guys here. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, stay in the gas. We're good. Can I make it? Yes, there we go. Okay, guys, and that final turn right there, you just get all you got. Just try to stay in the gas right there, because um, that's what got me in trouble. Because I was letting off the gas, and I guess it was happening to break too, and uh, I was allowing the uh, other cars to go past me. So, so yeah, I'm, I just stayed in the gas that that final turn, that final turn right there, and I got the win. Okay, so new track. Alright, so now let's move on to the one on one race. Tumbleweed Flats West. This is back down to two laps. And of course, like I said, the one on one race. We've got to be our opponent. And here we go. Alright, so this guy is driving. I don't know what color. Well, what car it is. I know what color it is. It's a blue. 1970 something, 73? Oh wow, the cop I ran right into the, my opponent right there. As we got cops right here. Oh, I think this is the long ass one. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It could be. But I lost the cop already, so that's good. Well, I thought I did. Oh God! Remember the traffic. Remember the traffic. And I think the cop hit one of the track uncommon cars there. But unfortunately, my opponent did not. Yeah, we lost them all right. Well, I got took a. Took the turn perfectly there. Have to give him props for that. Have to give him props. Alrighty. See if I can get ahead of this guy. Oh yeah, I think I kind of remember this one here. Alright, come on. Come on, old girl. You can do this. Yes, I called my Corvette an old girl. And he hit traffic. That that was perfect right there. Slowed him down somewhat. Took him down a peg. But he's still ahead of me. Two seconds ahead. And start finish line up here. No, not yet. Oh God, he's right there, and that should not have happened. Back her up, and let's back on track here. Okay, I still got plenty of time to do this, so I'm not out of the woods yet. Well, hello. Wish there was no traffic, but I uh, don't care. Oh uh, well. Okay, there's the finish line. Eight seconds behind. That was a short shortcut right there. I approve of that. 
I don't approve of me hitting the wall, though. I'm going to run to that cop somewhere. Okay. Okay, I see him up there. I see him speeding away. Okay, five seconds. I gained some, um, gained, gained some ground on him. I got this. I see. I'm going to do something here. All right. I know the cops coming soon. I don't know when. But I know he's coming. I think that's him right up there. No, it's not. It's just a blue, navy blue car that's about ended. Had to go out live out there to avoid hitting that car and losing time. I lost a little bit of time, but not much. Four seconds ahead. Four seconds ahead. Well, behind this guy, I mean. Oh, little track's coming up. I got me into trouble first time. Took it perfectly. Get some air. Yeah. I'll be perfect if I can get around him. Okay. There's the cop right there. Hoping he kind of slowed him. He's right there, too. Whoa, that was close. Oh, he lost the cop. But I think we're coming down to the end. We're getting close to the end. I passed him. Let's see, as we're heading down to the home stretch, I think we're getting close to the end. Nope, they to turn a little bit too. Okay, we're good. Okay, a little bit of dirt right there. Make the turn, so... Okay, now we're coming down to the home stretch. Whoo! Oh, man, that was... I don't know how I made that race. I don't know how I finished first, actually. So, But, you know what? Who cares? I won. That's all that matters. I was lagging behind during most of the race, but on the final lap, I started catching them slowly but surely. And there we go. We won the race. We won all the races in the C3. The C3 Arcade. So we're going to let you guys look at the Corvettes here. There's a 1980. That is the 1968. And I think it's just those two cars. It's 68, no, 68, 1980, and 1973. All right. There we go. And, of course, we unlocked all the, well, we won all the C3 amateur races. Unlocked all C3 cars, 1968 to 1982, to use a quick race. And, of course, the Tumbleweeds Flat West, West Track. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the C3. Paid a little homage to my stepdad's 1972 Corvette by driving it in this video. I'm actually going to pay homage next time when we do during the C4 arcade races. Well, you may, why am I, how, how am I going to pay homage? Well, I'll find out in tomorrow's video. So today, this is Squad 16 signing out. Later.